et bah Desert Challenge Day 2. So, today the riders will reach a mountain area before they enter finally the dunes in the south of Morocco. It's very heavy gravel stuff, big rocks. I'm pretty sure they, they need to carry their bikes on some parts. And on the top of this mountain they, they have a plateau which they, they follow and after the plateau is downhill uh, before they reach the checkpoint. Yes, man. <laughs> Um, I came out to Mazuga a couple of years ago on um, a motorbike and it's a great place and my son's into cycling and this way we get to cycle together in this area. Yeah, it's it's good. Uh, I think it's meant to be a bit more difficult today in the second stage but in the first stage I think I'm just going to go full power and try to get to the checkpoint as quick as possible. Four, eight, start. In total, it's a, it's a very long day, it's uh, 80 kilometers, uh, which is a lot in this region, but I think they will manage it and I'm, I'm happy to see them with a big smile and the dunes of the Akshabi this evening. I put today a front motor to see how it's working in the sand. Like that, I have a kind of two by two. But I'm not very sure about the front motor in the mountain, that's the problem. So, that's the test for today. You broke it? Broke and the chain broken. Ah, completely exhausted again. Completely. Hey! <laughs> Come and look at the front wheel. This, this was a motor. <laughs> 200, 200, 200, 200, 250, 300. Hard work. In total, I would say an e bike is from some people hated in the past, but now it's get more accepted and it's a brilliant way to enjoy the nature. So I'm first here, but uh, I started earlier, so. I guess uh, Robert has the better time, definitely. Mm -hmm. 